Welcome, I'm Maliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, I'm going to talk about your dreams, how it is that you can interpret them, understand them, and use the knowledge that you get from them to move forward into greater happiness, into greater fulfillment and empowerment. And you can say, hey, but I only have bad dreams. How could my bad dreams help me move forward into happiness? But they can and I will share with you in this video how they can do this and how you can truly shift from your mind and into your heart, which is higher frequency energy, higher vibrational energy. Your dreams come from your subconscious. Your subconscious has recorded something from the outside world. And the outside world, when it affects you, it is lower frequency energy. What we want is to shift from your mind into your heart and deep into your core, which is deep, deep within you. That is the highest frequency energy within you. And when you shift your energy from your mind into your heart and this is coming forward and your inner world is affecting your outer world, that is where everything changes. And that can't be done by you just saying, okay, I'm going to shift from my mind to my heart and it's all done. You need to look at what it is that you are experiencing, what it is you are thinking. And it takes practice. You need to keep doing this. In this channel, I shared lots and lots of videos of how it is that you can move into greater happiness and to greater empowerment. And I want to say thank you to my first thousand subscribers. I'm truly grateful and really, really excited to have done this and we did it together. So thank you. Now, when you have a dream, look at how it is that you felt during your dream while you were experiencing it. Were you experiencing it in a way that you were watching it happen, like watching a story unfold? Or was it so real that you truly thought you were experiencing it? The dreams where you feel that you were truly experiencing it, that it was real, very often when you wake up, you can't shake that feeling from you and you can carry this feeling with you in the day. And this can be truly upsetting, especially if it was a dream which you were unable to truly understand or which caused some sort of anxiety where you're expecting something to happen, where you're feeling like it was some sort of warning, some sort of bad omen that you need to look out for something. When you go into high anxiety mode and you're looking for something to happen, what you look for, you find. So things will happen that you say, oh, look, this was it. I knew it. My dream uh, told me. There are people that I have a very close friend who, when she has a dream, we know that things will happen because she's this kind of person that when she dreams of something, it does happen. I am not like this. I have dreams where it's thoughts, where it's emotions coming to the surface. You need to look at what kind of person are you? How do your dreams work? I'm sure that if you sit and you look at it, you will see the pattern. Where were you in the dream? The environment that your dream took place in plays a huge role in you interpreting it. The colors, the light, was it day, was it night? All this will affect the feeling that you had, the thoughts that you had, and the message that you receive. Now, one thing that I want to talk about is that when you remember the dream, certain senses will wake up. It can be beyond just your feeling of how you felt in it. You can have a certain taste that comes to your mouth, a smell, a colors that you saw, something that you heard. These usually come from something that you've experienced, something that you remember deep within you, and they are connected to something from your past. What do these mean for you? Dreams don't mean the same thing for every person. You need to interpret your dream. 
Now, does that mean that you can't ask your friends and family? You can. You can ask people what it is that they think your dream might mean, but you need to listen from the heart. And listening from the heart means getting the information and seeing what it is that sounds right within you. You will know that which you are happy to hear. That which you are happy to hear is that which is correct, that which is true for you. You can look it up on the internet, on different sites. There are amazing sites of dream interpretation, spiritual interpretation of dreams, of dream symbols, of dream meanings. And keep that which sounds correct within you. If you listen with your heart and not with your mind, then you will know what is true for you, what applies to the dream that you had. Use this knowledge, use this information for you to move through this, to truly, completely release that which no longer serves you. That which needs to go, that which causes you pain, that which causes feelings of guilt, of suffering, of sadness, of fear. Let these go and move forward into your happiness, move forward into your fulfillment. But don't be afraid to look at it. Looking at something means casting light on it, and casting light on it, the light that is in your eyes, the light that is in your heart, means that you see it clearly, and all the darkness within it just falls away. It goes away. Light is so much more powerful than darkness. You turn on the light and there's light in the room. The same goes for the light within you. It's the brightest light there is. Shine this light forward. Don't be afraid to look at your dreams. Don't be afraid to experience them. And know that the more and more you move out of your mind and into your heart, the more and more you move forward and you release that which needs to be released. The people who need to go, the experiences that need to go, that which no longer fulfills you, makes you truly happy. Just keep moving forward into all that you are, into all of you, your happiness, your love, your knowledge, your wisdom. It's all within you. And trust your interpretation of the dream. Trust that which you believe to be true. The more you understand your dreams, the more you understand your subconscious and that which you may not consciously be aware that is deep within you. If you allow it to surface, if you allow yourself to see it without sinking into it, don't let it take over your life, don't let it take over your feelings. See it, understand it, but do it with the wisdom that is within you. Take the knowledge, take the understanding, and move forward with your happiness, move forward with your love and light and the true power of you. And that's in your heart and it's not in your mind. If you have a bad dream and that energy is carried with you through the day and you wanna release it and you just can't shake it, literally see yourself letting that energy go by looking at it. To let something go, to release it, you need to not be afraid to see it, to learn from it, to understand that which it is telling you, which it is showing you, which it is revealing to you. And if you need help, ask for help. It's not bad to ask for help. And do this so that you can truly move forward into your complete happiness. Do this with power. Don't do it with a feeling of disempowerment, like, oh my God, look what I've experienced. Look at my feelings. Look what I've done. No, you've experienced it. It may be pain. It may be suffering. It may be weakness, but it doesn't matter. You, it's not who you are. It's not you. One thing that I want you to truly understand is that you are not your dreams. You are not your subconscious. You are not your mind. These are from the external world. They are things that you've seen, that you've experienced, that you've recorded within you. 
who you truly are is in your heart. Discover the true you and bring this forward. See your dreams as messages, interpret them, learn from them, understand them. Keep the knowledge and the wisdom and release the sadness, release the pain, the feelings of guilt, anything that needs to go, let it go and move forward. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe and like.